you never know who you're going to encounter in an online match. It could be your garden variety, super angry 12 year olds. What's up, guys? Knife damage! Knife damage! Knife damage! Or a smurfing pro who's having a bit of fun at your expense. Coming. I'm telling you, he's a pro player. He's shot. Look at him go. No problem. It might be a big name streamer mixing it up with the plebs. Dude, holy crap, let's go, baby! Oh my this god. Is the Put your hands up, Thank you so much, Shroud, for the host, dude. Or maybe, just maybe, it's a former Navy diver who's putting 20 years of military expertise into kicking your ass. <laughs> Take eat that, bitch! One more, Grandpa. Grandpa got them all, yes! Holy f Hey, that was a no-scope with a triple take. Meet Grandpa Gaming, a melon-popping actual boomer who spent about a third of his life in the US military and nearly 45 years playing video games. What made you want to play these type of games? Because I'm a killer, a trained killer. But it's not how long he's been playing video games that's the impressive part. It's the fact that he's been through a laundry list of debilitating health issues that would have broken a lesser man, and is still going strong. Yep. There's two up there, they're pretty bad. OW! <laughs> that hurt! So how did this grizzled vet end up streaming on Twitch? And how has braining fools for a live audience actually helped him cope with the real-life challenges he faces every day. Oh, yeah! Headshot, baby! Nice shot. Headshot. Headshot! Boom! Nice shot. Who's your mama? Now, if you have never heard of Grandpa Gaming, you are really in for a treat. He's a 67-year-old U.S. vet who likes to cook. And here you are, folks. Lobster stuff. Portobello mushroom. Bon appetit. He loves astronomy. This is Grandpa Gaming here. What you're looking at right now is Jupiter. And he's occasionally known to sing his heart out. Ass pan, ass pan. Everyone needs an ass pan. Strap it on, it'll do you right. It'll save your ass in a firefight. Ass pan. But most importantly, this old timer loves to click on heads. Down! Oh, got them all! <laughs> that was a beautiful headshot! While Gramps, as his community affectionately calls him, may not be as big as some of his streaming idols, like Shroud, Dr. Disrespect, and Ninja, it's impossible to question his commitment to their very same grind. There's times that I put 100 hours a week into this, or, or possibly more. I've done a 38-hour stream, many 24-hour streams. You know, I'll just get into it, and it seems like it never ends. Ow! Oh! <laughs> oh, did you see that? But perhaps the most remarkable thing about Gramps' dedication to his stream is the fact that he endures so much just to make it happen. You'll see a big scar right there. That, uh, that was from a machete in the Philippines. If I sit in this chair for more than 20, 30 minutes, the feeling in my hands is gone. Everything from the shoulder down to the fingertips. I can feel the pressure, but it's, it's all numb. And when you do a first person shooter on the WAS and D key, my fingers will roam off and then problems start. And while he has found a way to keep his hands steady when playing, by using a special glove he calls the claw, the other chronic health issues he's faced haven't been as easy to deal with. Constant pain, 24 hours a day, whether I'm sleeping or not. I am getting really tired, my wrist is all swollen, so I'm gonna call it a night. But as much as streaming takes a lot out of him, for Gramps, the escapism and social interaction it provides more than makes up for it. Next time you run in front of my f***ing torpedoes, I'm gonna put a full spring in your ass! Gaming for him is a source of, like, coping with pain. It's a great coping tool for people with PTSD, physical pain, uh, emotional pain, that type of stuff. Now, Gramps has been gaming since the good old days of Wing Commander. 
but he decided to take a shot at streaming when a friend introduced him to Twitch in June of 2015. He said, well, you should try streaming. I said, what's that? He goes, you know, on Twitch. And I said, no, what is that? The very next night, Gramps went live for the first time, and he has not looked back since. Did I say you can come in my house? You didn't knock on the door. And while PUBG and Apex Legends were the games that really kicked off his channel's early success, unlike a lot of streamers, Gramps has been able to maintain his audience while playing a variety of different games. Oh, right in the head! Did you see that? Oh, he's looking at, oh! <laughs> yeah, eat that, bitch. Now, just because Gramps likes to get rowdy and talk a little smack to Zoomers, that doesn't mean that his stream's a total free-for-all. When it comes to the rules of engagement in his community, he's as strict on others as he is on himself. In the stream itself, there's no politics, no racism, no religion at all. You, we don't talk about it. Uh, and that's because bitter, bitter wars have been started over race, religion, and politics. Those are the rules. Those are the big rules right there. And if you break them, my mods will say adios, muchachos. Now, just like any other streamer, Gramps has to put up with the everyday bullshit of live content creation, whether that comes in the form of stream snipers, or even worse, cheaters. Elevator again, elevator. No, no, he was right here. I hit him and he walked away instantly, it's Berkeley. You, you shouldn't have to cheat in a game, period. It's, if you don't have the skill, don't play the game. And it's all about having fun. And when you're out there busting your butt, especially at my age and with my handicaps, and then get taken out by a cheater before you get to number one, I still don't understand. And a lot of people don't. What? No way. No, uh-uh. As long as you're playing fair though, Gramps is happy to have you around and will help you in any way he can. Like the time that he and his team worked together to get an eight year old his first Apex Legends victory. Oh my god. Good game. Uh, Gramps, this is a YouTube video. This little boy was trying so hard to get a kill and just kind of impress, you know, like he just wanted that limelight and it was really tough to watch that. But with Gramps, he just like very, very naturally, I mean, kind of came in and let him have his moment and it was great. And honestly, it's heartfelt moments like these that have earned Gramps the respect and adulation of his viewers. One young man said that his parents thought that what he was doing was a waste of time. And I said, well, don't listen to that. That, that. Those are naysayers. About two weeks later, he came back and thanked me because now his parents are behind him 100% because he actually showed his parents clips of what I did and they just jumped on the bandwagon and now he's, he's happy as can be. But as much as the last couple of years have been filled with laughter for Gramps and his community, it hasn't all been smooth sailing. On top of the long lasting effects of injuries he sustained from war, Gramps has survived a battle with prostate cancer, a pulmonary embolism, and most recently in 2018, two heart attacks. Genuine life-threatening situations that worried Gramps' audience, but only strengthened his resolve to get back to them. Hopefully, I will uh, be out of here in five days and uh, be able to put some more vids on YouTube. So, be safe, be honest, and game on. But with the support of his loving wife and his extended family of followers, Gramps has pushed past the physical challenges he faces every day without fearing the consequences. Everyone's going to die sometime. But whether I die today or next year or 50 years from now. It doesn't matter to me. It, it doesn't scare me in the least. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do and nothing's gonna hold me back. And while Gramps has been raided by bigger streamers and hopes that his stream continues to grow, he remains dedicated above all else to giving back to his community. A successful stream 
would be any stream to where we had a lot of laughs, interaction with the chat where they're asking for advice and I would I would give them advice on this and that. These days, Gramps can still primarily be found fragging out when he goes live, but he's constantly looking for ways to connect with his viewers, whether that's in the form of sharing recipes or his interest in stargazing. At the end of the day, whatever content Grandpa Gaming chooses to make, it's really hard not to admire the passion and commitment that goes into it. His journey is a wholesome, beautiful reminder that there's more to gaming than just ELO and KDRs. It's an outlet for creating lifelong bonds, memories that make us laugh. <laughs> And it's a way to help us overcome battles in our own lives. Battles that not everyone knows we're fighting. And for Gramps, if he can bring as many people together as possible with the time he has left, that's all that matters. Heart attacks be damned. It's not just about gaming. It's about influencing people, giving them good advice, even showing the older generation that you can still have fun, a golden age or a silver age in cope with life. That's what we're all about. Going. I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh my god. I did it. <laughs> uh, I I ask one favor. Make me look pretty. <laughs> scandalized by the, the language on stream. Yeah. Guy shooting at you like you said something bad about his mother. Yeah, I did. Called her a bitch. Hadoop. Hadoop. One of the one of the roughest things I've ever said on camera.